Picture Anakin Skywalker, the future Darth Vader, whining about Obi-Wan or attempting to express his feelings for Padme. It's a performance from Hayden Christensen that's about as compelling as a droid's binary code. The emotional depth here? It's as shallow as a Tatooine water well. The dialogue in Revenge of the Sith is a treasure trove of cringe. From Anakin's I don't like sand monologue to Padme's uncomfortable declarations of love, it's a galactic tour of eye-rolling moments. There's more natural chemistry between a Wookiee and a Porg than there is between these two star-crossed lovers. The film delivers on the classic Star Wars promise of epic lightsaber battles and dazzling visual effects. We're treated to the showdown between Anakin and Obi-Wan on Mustafar and the thrilling duel between Yoda and Emperor Palpatine. Yet there's a grace to a cantina brawl that seems to elude these high-stakes fights. For every thrilling action sequence, there's a moment of wooden dialogue or awkward CGI creature that prompts a facepalm. Whether it's Anakin's angst-filled monologues or the over-the-top theatrics of General Grievous, Revenge of the Sith is a treasure chest of moments that make you question the Force's sense of humor. A hut's negotiation is subtle in comparison. Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith is a roller coaster of emotions. It's as tragic as it is entertaining, as cringeworthy as it is thrilling. In a galaxy where the Force seems to have a twisted sense of humor, bad dialogue and questionable plot choices are par for the course. So strap in, grab your lightsabers, and prepare for a wild ride. And should you find yourself facing Sith Lords or Separatist armies, remember this mantra. It's only a movie. It's only a movie. Sometimes the best way to survive a cinematic disaster is to laugh at it. Let the Force guide you through the cringe-inducing romance and awkward CGI creatures. May the farce be with you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment about your thoughts on the video and the movie, and make sure to check out other quirky reviews. Until next time, stay quirky.